It was launched as a diaper that would keep your baby drier. But soon after hitting the market, parents revolted on Facebook, saying Procter & Gamble's new Dry Max diapers left babies screaming in pain. The Consumer Product Safety Commission investigated and found nothing wrong. So we combed through 2,000 pages to figure out what went on behind the scenes. 2 News investigative reporter Marla Carter reveals what we found in tonight's segment two. You want to hold Ernie's hand? Last year, little Aiden Streeland needed a little support. Then two years old, Aiden was at the doctor's office looking for relief from what his dad describes as a blistering rash on his backside. Like a big red spot with almost like a sunburn, if you will. Dad Jerry thought he knew the cause. New diapers the family had started using. Pampers Dry Max diapers with new technology that made the diapers smaller and claimed to keep babies drier. The Streelands felt they had another effect on Aiden. He was screaming, said, Mommy, Daddy, no touch, no wipe. To this family and their doctor, it seemed to be an extreme case of diaper rash, almost like a burn. It's a horror story echoed by thousands of families who last year took to Facebook, claiming their kids were hurt wearing the diapers. I said, you know what, that's it. I'm going to do something about this. Jerry wanted answers, and so did we. As part of an investigation involving Scripps Howard TV stations from across the country, we turned to the Consumer Product Safety Commission. With more than 4,000 complaints, the agency was investigating DryMax, and we wanted to see how. Under the Federal Freedom of Information Act, we made a request to see all the paperwork related to the investigation. After sending a request last summer, we waited and waited and waited. Eleven months later, two boxes of paper arrived. 2,183 pages, emails, analysis, and experts weighing in on the mystery. We went through every one. But our attempts to find an answer in the stacks quickly came to a dead end. The reason? All the vital information about what could have potentially caused the reactions was deleted, with entire pages left blank. In the case of a government investigation of private industry, this is pretty much the standard course of what we see. Chuck Tobin with D.C. firm Holland Knight would know. He's fought dozens of cases on behalf of information seekers and understands why a chunk of the paper's investigation file would be pulled. The government is required to go to the company that um, provided the materials and to ask them, what is your view on this? The government is not required to rubber stamp that view. But we'll never know if they did because we don't have access to the legal arguments between the CPSC and Procter and & Gamble. We only know the end result. More than 500 whole pages missing from the 2,100-page investigation file, with other facts blacked out from pages. The missing information is crucial. The documents given to us leave out many important facts, from the company's testing of the diaper to ingredients used to make them. It, it is difficult to understand from the standpoint of the consumer who wants to know everything, but there are legitimate reasons why a company would want to protect its trade secrets. And the government cited those reasons in withholding paperwork, saying, quote, the CPSC was required to share the request with the company, and they made claims of confidentiality with respect to the testing data and other proprietary information, which led to certain information not being disclosed. The agency also points out that their investigation did not turn up any reason to recall the DryMax diapers. Procter & Gamble says their product is safe. Thanks for being a good boy, buddy. But tell that to little Layden and his parents. They say they don't need to see the missing pages of the report to remember the pain they saw firsthand. Marla Carter, 2 News works for you. In a statement, Pampers emphasized the CPSC and Health Canada found no connection between dry max and diaper rash. As for their investigative file, a spokesperson says they supplied all data required by those agencies and any information removed was confidential information on their products, such as formula cards or personal consumer information. You can read the company's full statement along with some of the documents on our website, kgrh.com. Look under segment two.